Hello everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, we have a very cool vlog in store for you. Because today is the Owensboro Hydro Fair located in Owensboro, Kentucky. As you guys know, I'm a huge boat racing fan. I've done multiple boat racing videos going to H1 Unlimited races and stuff throughout this year. Today, in Owensboro, there is a huge boat race going on with five different classes of hydroplane racing boats, including the Grand Prix, which are the second fastest class of hydroplanes there are. So today, we're going to be going down to Owensboro to watch all the boat racing. Sadly, the H1 Unlimiteds are not there. Hopefully next year they're there, but... Either way, there's five classes of hydroplanes, a lot of very good boats, including, as I said, the Grand Prix. It's going to be a lot of fun today, a ton of action-packed racing. And then after the boat racing gets done, there's other stuff going on tonight down in Owensboro, including a fireworks show. So this is going to be a very cool video. Make sure you all leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. We're going to go ahead and start today's video. Okay, we just left home and we are heading off to Owensboro. It is about a 45 minute drive, so we will see you there. We are here in downtown Owensboro, uh, right by Smothers Park along the Owensboro Riverfront. The fountains are going early in the morning. Also, I would like to mention, yesterday there was a ton of racing going on, but I was not able to be here till basically after all the racing was done. I did have someone filming racing for me though during the day, so right now I'm going to show a few clips from all the boat racing going on yesterday. Also. For you guys that don't know boat racing, for a comparison, an H1 Unlimited can get up to around 200 miles per hour or so. Grand Prix can get up to around 150 to 160 miles per hour. So not as fast as H1 Unlimited's, but still very fast. And the other classes of boats, uh, they go pretty fast as well. They go down a little bit as the size of the boat gets smaller. Okay, so we are just a few minutes away from the very first race of the day. The first race is going to be the one liters. This is heat one for the one liters. And I think it's actually getting ready to start. And racing is underway for the Owensboro Hydro Fest. So next up is the 2.5 liters. These are a little bit faster than the ones we just saw. The next race is going to be Grand Prix Heat 1A. The Grand Prix are the main reason we're here. 160 miles per hour. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We have four boats here. Here they come. John, if you can hear me, I just got information. Here we go. GP Heat 1A. So Ken Lupton ended up winning the race as you saw in the red boat, but he actually jumped the gun so Jeff Bernard gets the win in the GP79. Next up though is actually going to be Grand Prix Heat 1B. Uh, Andrew Tate is in this race 
As you guys may know, he raced an H1 boat last year and hopefully will be next year racing an H1 boat. He is in one of these Grand Prix races. So Grand Prix Heat 1B is about to start uh, coming up soon. Here we go, Heat 1B. for the 2.5 liter stocks I'm pretty sure these boats are faster than the first two we saw not as fast as the Grand Prix though I think there's like six or seven boats though in this race oh no look one of them's going back the race hasn't even started yet and one of them's going back to the dock what happened Right now, the 350 boats are about to go. These are the second fastest boats here. Uh, they go, I think, like 130 to 140 miles per hour. They're literally starting right now. I know he's going to be in the way for the other ones when they come across. No, he's see, he's trying to get it started. Oh no! So they just wave the black black flag, which basically stops the race before it even starts. So as you saw, um, they had to stop that race because the boat that uh, died in turn one was right in the middle of the way. So if they had started the race, there would have been five boats going full speed with one just stopped in the middle of the race course. That could have led to a disaster. So rightfully, they stopped the race. That's the good thing to do because, uh, as I said, it could have led to a disaster. Now, though, we are in a lunch break. In about 45 minutes, though, we're going to start back with the race that never got started just now. We're going to try to redo that heat. And then I know we have a few Grand Prix heats, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if the other classes of boats have any more preliminary heats. And then we have final heats for every class. So in total, I think they said we have 10 or 11 more races today. Oh, so the reason we're actually down to three boats is because some of the boats did not stop whenever they did the black flag, whenever they were supposed to stop because that boat So we are about to have Grand Prix Heat 2A and 2B, and then after that is going to be all the final heats for all the classes after the Grand Prix Heats. GP Heat 2A, here comes the boats. Wow, look at this! 
now that we finished the Grand Prix he preliminary heats, it is time for the final heats for every single class. All the classes here are going to have a final heat and championship race. Okay, so the 2.5 mods championship race. I think they said seven or eight boats in this race. Here they come. Okay. So here goes the one leaders, their championship race. Literally every boat except two is broken down already. So we have the five leaders about to do their championship race. That's the third fastest boats here. Then we have the 350s after that doing their championship race. That is the second fastest boats here. And then the final race of the day is going to be the GP championship race, the fastest boats. So three more amazing races to go. The final heat here for the five leaders. So the second fastest class of boats here, the 350s, are about to start their championship race. Oh wow, look at this. We have had four final heats so far. We have one championship race left, and it is the main event, the Grand Prix North American Championship race. Seven boats in this final heat. It's going to be amazing. North American Championship at the Owensboro Hydro Fair, presented by Jago Home. Drivers! Right Here we go! Look at that! Oh my god! Oh yeah, Bernard just got washed down. The orange boat just got in the middle. Hey, this is the first race we've been to all year. We didn't see a flip. We saw a GP flip, 
uh, in Gunnersville. Obviously saw a huge flip in Madison. And no flips here. That concludes our day of racing. The day of racing may be over, but this video and the rest of the day still has a ton of stuff because right now we are about to head throughout the city of Owensboro, go a few places and stuff, and then later in this video, we're gonna be back at the riverfront for a concert and fireworks show. Okay, we're getting out of the downtown area. Right now, we're actually heading to the Owensboro Mall. We went there last year and it was actually somewhat abandoned, not like fully abandoned, but like where there was barely any stores left in there, which is crazy because it's the only mall here. But we wanted to go by there because it's actually pretty cool. So that's where we're headed. We've made it here to the mall. They literally have to put open signs on it just so people know it's even open still. That's kind of sad and funny at the same time. Oh my gosh. Uh, look, all the restaurants are empty. Oh, that place is open, isn't it? There's an open place. They don't even have all the lights on down here, unless they're just broken. Wow. You know what's crazy? I can remember as a kid, I came here one time and every store was taken. And then I came back last year and there's nothing, and now there's even less. Can we see in here? We can. Look at this. There's lights on back there. Is there someone back there? I wonder why the lights are on back there. Oh my gosh. We're gonna head out of the mall. I know we're gonna go somewhere to eat before we go back down to the riverfront. I have a place in mind that is something that our hometown does not have. A place you guys probably all know of to eat. We have made it here to Raisin Cane's. We don't have this in our town, even though our town's like triple the size of Owensboro. Everybody goes crazy saying how good their chicken is, how good their sauce is. We're gonna go have some. Okay, we got the food. Chicken tenders, Texas toast, french fries, and obviously Raisin Cane's sauce, as you see. Looks very, very good. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. There's also people on that barge. What? I don't know, but we have about two hours till the fireworks start and stuff. We're just going to hang out around the riverfront until that starts. Oh, and we also have a concert down there apparently. These are wimpy fountains. I want the ones that shoot up. Where are they? Oh my gosh! It's raining. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. Thank you. Right now we are heading to Cold Stone to get some ice cream as a late night treat. And there is literally a kid climbing up a street light pole. So this ice cream is vanilla ice cream. It's got cookie dough, fudge, and caramel in it. Looks very good. That sunset is so nice. Wow. Uh-oh. Everyone, it looks like the show's getting ready to start.
you all for watching today's video. This was a very cool vlog going to the Owensboro Hydro Fair, all the boat racing and everything else that happened throughout the day. It was a ton of fun and hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Sadly, this is going to be the final boat racing video of the year of us going to a race. There is still one more H1 Unlimited race in the season. That is in San Diego in around two and a half weeks. If you live in that area, definitely go check out the H1 Unlimited in San Diego. We got to go to Gunnersville this year for the H1 race. We got to go to Madison and camp out throughout the weekend there for that H1 race and then go into the Grand Prix race in Owensboro for this video. Some of the videos I filmed in Madison and stuff are my most popular videos in channel history, so thank you all for all the support on every boat racing video. I can't wait for next year. As I said, there still is one more race in San Diego. Obviously, we're not traveling all the way to San Diego, but if you live near that, definitely go check that out. But this is the final boat racing video of the year, so thank you all for all the support on all the boat racing videos this year. Make sure you all leave a like on this video and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Also, go buy the merchandise, very first link in the description. And that's going to be all. A lot of cool videos coming out soon that you will not want to miss. But till next time, see ya! Do you realize who I am? I am Kaden freaking Connor! I am Kaden Connor!